Nigga look fucking nails. Damn. And they, you talk about the dirtiness? No, dirt and blood. I don't want to get you clean. I think that's fucking barbecue after like legit getting uh. a bath for like 40 hours. <laughs> 30 hours. Oh, we on? Yeah, we on that. Sure. Hey, don't know nothing about this. What? No, I was just in the, about this, I was in the, the block, but he paused me looking up on my way with my hand on my stomach, though. Bro, I didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> no, I just paused, bro. I'm just chilling, this nigga minding my business and shit. Man. But, who you think the uh, the most overrated player in the uh, most overrated nigga in the rap game right now? In the what? Rap game. <laughs> what is that? Rap game? Oh, I thought you said... Do I have I, an accent? I, I my, what you were saying. Am I... What's... Uh, <laughs> am I... Damn, nigga. But to be honest, it's gotta be Kendrick. You're gassing me. Nah, you, you really nah. got something against Kendrick. Nah. You're gassing. He's not overrated, bro. Nah. I mean, he might not be what he used to be, but he's not overrated. Nigga, I said nah. I was kidding. Oh. Uh, that was for y'all, niggas. He's about to rock off on my own ass. But, uh... <laughs> Most overrated. I don't. I don't listen to that many uh, <clears throat> new artists. But I'll probably say Lou or yeah, Lil Uzi Vert. That nigga's like, he's like the king of the Lils, and I don't see why. Man, like his just, his music is trash to me. But I give them. Nigga, I wouldn't even listen to Lil Uzi, but honestly, I, I just don't know. I feel like now I'm, I'm turning to an old head. To be real, where we, I just listen to the. Old music back when rap was, you know, rap. You know, back when the real old heads was talking, man, this ain't rap, man. <laughs> no, nah, this ain't rap. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we're old heads. We're just, like, grown with what we listened to when we were younger. Man, I mean. And like, if, I if, we, if we were, what, like, 14 or 15 right now, we would relate to those rappers. I mean, I still listen to 444. It just came out. But, you know, just because it was Jay-Z, though. I'm trying to think of a more recent artist I still rock with. Eminem? Hell no. <laughs> I don't want to give that album a try, bro. And I'm a big Eminem fan. I'm cool. I've never listened to an Eminem album all the way. <laughs> but I'm not saying he sucks. But yeah, I, just don't, I just don't listen to him. Eminem is easily. <sighs> Eminem, my top five. I know everybody else will probably have him like somewhere else in the top 15 or whatever. Oh yeah, I know he's up there because Kendrick and Cole both say he's in top five. Man, but I think People they really say be that be because of skill. I don't think Eminem is up there with like content. I don't know, man. He he did used to put up some songs, but he also put up like some weird ass, just like just weird shit. That's what he was known for. But his skill is off the charts. But back to you, what you were saying, I heard you. Cole, Cole? Is, Cole is underrated, man. But he's just so consistent, you know? Like, he's very consistent. Damn. And all his songs are, like, cool. He, he doesn't really have, like, a bad song when he raps. Tell him. <laughs> but I ain't even a big Cole fan. I'm a Drizzy fan, you know, 100. And that's what... Drizzy's underrated, too. <laughs> well, mm. to me, like, he he just hides all his conscious songs with all these dumbass like, radio songs. I feel like he's self-conscious about rapping deep. So he just like mask it with all these hype songs. Cause his his songs where he talks raps about deep shit, it's like Cole songs. Like you could just relate. Yeah. But then he fucking puts out Hotline Bling and the motto, shit like that. I mean And you don't even pay attention to the other shit. The motto was really a hit, but it became more of like, you know, a radio club song. That's the thing about Jersey, but a lot of his songs are like turn into be like club songs. A lot of people fuck with it, but and he could really just sit down and spit if he wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Do not disturb is really that's the old Jersey talking. I don't know where that came from for real. That shit is clowning. I like at the end, the last verse he was like, "Oh no, that's the ride." Never mind. Well, he said, "I'm pulling up to Terminal 3. Like you could just tell he like yeah. wrote it or typed it. Make sure you got your code on. He said, "What he said?" And you know, I know for a fact he was pulling up to it on a plane or something. Yeah. Oh, he said I haven't been at Terminal uh, 1 or 3 in so long. Yeah. And I looked it up on Rap Genius. They were like, those are the terminals, like, to exit or something like that. Or, or to leave one of them. 
And I was like, talk that shit, Jersey. Talk that shit to him. That, and that's on my bucket list, bro. Like, straight up. All, all the stuff that he said on the ride, I want to do. For real. And you already done half of it, nigga. Mm-mm-mm. And I tried counting, like, all the stuff he said, you won't feel me on. But I, I got I kind of I got kind of confused like on um, number forty something, <laughs> cause he just got the breathing. They just keep on telling you they feel you, nigga. Man. Rewind. What happened, Kendrick? <laughs> <laughs> his, his, his talent is and content is always gonna be above everybody, but he just don't try anymore. It's not even that. He just like. He tries like he tries to go commercial, but then he acts like he's not trying to. Yeah. Like you can tell, nigga. Like your songs. Your <laughs> Why am I sitting sideways? <laughs> like I'm mad at you or some shit. Oh man. I hate when I try to bring this up to people and they just be like, "But did you hear what he was rapping about?" Yes, I know his content is always there. But I just don't like how he moves anymore. He's not humble anymore, which is ironic. Hmm. And he's not hungry anymore. He 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 knows he's the best. Everybody knows he's the best. But that don't mean you gotta act like it. Yeah. Just be humble about it. Yeah. Like Cole. But hey, what's his last uh album? Damn. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought he dropped like a new one or some weird shit. No. Nah. Like, I think see I hate talking about Cole so much because it sounds weird, but it's true, like I feel like he can take the rap game whenever he wants it, but he that's not he's, he, like, he's a, like a person before he's a rapper. Yeah, he's just so passive aggressive with it, bro. Yeah. Like false prophets. He kept apologizing every time he dissed somebody, basically. If you got the really breathing, bro, it would get bad. If he had that co I mean like he had that uh Kendrick energy on control, if he had that kind of energy, bro, it can get ugly. For real, for real. Man. But shit. That's what he kind of did on False Prophets, though, when he diss it. Well, he ain't really diss him, but you shit on Wale. What he said? He said, uh... I'm a Wale fan. I want to hear this shit. I'll whoop his ass. He said... He said, I got a friend. He a rapper, and he want to win bad. Well, was he basically coming at him, like, no, he was, tries too hard or some shit? Like, no, he, he, he was, worries about the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I heard that song. I was kind of mad, but, he, you know, he was talking the truth. Well, they really do be worrying about what other people think too much, like... Oh, yeah. that's I never like that about him. Like, when he goes on an interview, he just, like... Like, uh, like you can't, like, tell people how to view yourself. Like, yeah. that, that just makes people want to see the opposite. You yeah. just gotta let it happen. For real, though. Like, he talks about his own music way too much. <laughs> at least to me. Man, his albums are so cool, though, bro. They really are. I'm... It, Wale is weird though Because I can't listen to him by myself But when somebody plays him I'll be like damn <laughs> You can't listen to him by yourself What you mean? I feel weird Like I don't know He's Like five heads Some of them don't smoke by themselves <laughs> <laughs> Like you can feel the energy in a car When everybody's fucking with the song And when I'm by myself I'm not fucking with it Hex No He said I gotta Friend, he a rapper and he wanna win bad. He went to fame, the acclaim, the respect that's been had by all the legends. So every time I see him, he's stressing, talking about niggas don't fuck with him. This shit is depressing, and I know. Ooh. Ooh, he's man. so bitter, he can't see his own blessings. Goddamn, nigga. You too blind to see you got fans, nigga. That shit hit home right there. <laughs> no, that's the thing about Cole, but he be trying to get to your motherfucking soul, bro. Yeah, these next bars, he said, in a platform. To make a classic rap song that changes nigga to change a nigga's life, but you too anxious living life. Always worry about a critic who ain't never fucking did it. People be taking uh Drake lyrics for captions, but you can really take uh J. Cole lyrics and make a caption and oh, yeah. go crazy. Remember when I had my old Instagram? Every caption was a J. Cole lyric. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was dope. Uh I had this one I posted a J. Cole lyric and then somebody said, I hope he drops a new album soon so you can post new j cole lyrics <laughs> and then and then like a few weeks earlier j cole had a song and he said if i quote it nigga i wrote it nigga so oh, i just, and, so I just quoted that <laughs> if i quote it nigga i wrote it hell yeah. no who he think he is saying that bro he crazy but hot take 
cold or had a better career than Tupac, but shit. <laughs> Hot take. You gotta chill with that. If Tupac was I mean, still I, don't alive, even, I don't even fuck with Tupac. If but. Tupac was still alive, he'll probably have like two more cool ass albums and then become an actor and Cole had a better, had a better career in music. Hot take. Let me shake the table real quick. <laughs> I can't really speak on Tupac because I didn't listen to him. Yeah, I didn't listen to Biggie, Tupac, Nas. I don't like any of them really. No, nah, the thing the thing is, bro, Biggie had flow. He can do all that stuff. Oh yeah, and I know Nas was a ridiculous storyteller, but yeah. I just, I, it just a sound. I don't fuck with it. Yeah. And then Tupac, Tupac was good too, but it's like half the people that say he's the greatest of all time, you'd be like, name my album. Uh, 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 uh. It's like, come on, bro. It's really sad too, cause he died at like twenty four, and, and he, was, he, he went was through changing a lot. the world. Yeah, and he did. He did a lot before he died too, though. He was changing the world, and he I died. I remember he made movies, a couple albums. It's little my mom. Um, <laughs> you know, he was yeah. supposed to be. Uh, he was supposed to be. Who was it? In uh, a movie. Yeah, he was supposed to be. I think it was. What's that nigga's name? That's like acting all weird now. The actor, the bald black dude. He has Michael, Michael Blackson on a leash. What? <laughs> bro, you know who I'm talking Tyrese? about. Tyrese? Yes. He was supposed to play Tyrese in Baby Boy. <laughs> oh, you talking about when he kidnapped him? Yeah. Kid- oh, they talking about just, I'm like, who had Michael Black on the motherfucking leash? You rem- uh, I don't think he had him on leash. He was just holding him by his neck. But you? <laughs> But that kidnapped shit had me crying. I was cause my I, I was scrolling down Michael Black's on Instagram and I look, I see this dude bandaged up naked, bro. I'm like, come on, man, what is this dude on, bro? Next you know, uh, cause you know he used to rap like talk hella shit up to yeah. Tyrese. I see Tyrese pull up on the screen. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, what? I understand it was for like entertainment and shit, but you a grown ass man. Never would. Why are you submitting to another grown man for views? You talking about uh, Michael Blackson? Yeah, that's some. That's ridiculous. That's selling out at its finest. <laughs> I don't know if that's really selling now, but maybe I don't know. He turned him out. Pause. That's like you, like being my slave for a few days, but just for views, basically, because you ain't getting paid to do it. Unless I mean, I feel like they they cool friends though. Yeah, fuck all that. Nigga, we cool friends. I ain't doing shit for you like that. Bro, well, you won't let me put you on a leash. Hell no. That's fucked up. For a million, for a million dollars. No, nigga, not if I'm... Actually, what am I saying? I was about to give an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to want to find a way to uh, get you to the excuse and uh, admit to you, and you, uh, you got to do it. See? <laughs> see? <laughs> oh, man, my buns hurt. Pause. Let me see. Bruh, calm down, B. What are you uh, doing? Man? Huh? Alyssa Hewley? No, nah, it's not Alyssa Hewley. Hully? No. Relax, too, by the way. Alyssa H. Uli? <laughs> Bosnian? <laughs> no, relax. Bro. Tell her that was good, though. She don't know you, B. Yeah. And she don't like mixed guys. Yeah. She don't like the color purple. <laughs> yeah. The movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't when you stay out in the sun too long in the summer, are you purple? Yeah, yeah, I get purple. <laughs> Don't you swell up more in the summer? Let's <laughs> say so be hiding in a closet in your room. The lights off. Man. Oh. I thought you don't mess with Kanye. What's all this? You're crazy. Who said that? You, don't tell me you thought that album was lit. Life of Pablo? Yeah. Yes. You think that was on his best work? No. Oh, the album but was he, not he's lit. He's never had a bad album. Name a me. bad song. Name Father Stretch My Hand wasn't a bad song? No, nigga. That's like those three songs. Uh, something, something. Her asshole. Bleach her asshole. Nigga, I'm, I'm talking about the, the music sound. Fuck the lyrics. What? Not, that's what it is nowadays? You just... But Kanye like does it in a way like he just says shit that goes with the song. Like he, no. He's not saying that shit like... Talking about he's girl not get, claiming he's a crazy lyricist. He's talking about girl having her booty hole in his t-shirt. Oh, bruh. Close your ass. When you got a wife, shit happens. Nah, bruh. No double, pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended. But bro, what your booty hole doing on a nigga shirt, bro? <laughs> what the fuck, Kanye? You gassed it. It bro. can go. It can go around a nigga mouth, but it can't go on a shirt. No, you gotta open your bare ass to get on my motherfucking shirt. <laughs> I, w- I wish a girl would put her bare asshole on my shirt, bro. I wouldn't even let it get to that point, bro. Bro, if it ain't dirty, you ain't got a problem. No, you ain't gotta worry about no. that. No. 
worry about nothing. Nigga, I ain't worried about nothing. Nigga, I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. Nigga, I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried shit about my shirt. Uh. <laughs> Look, you're trying to roast my ass. Get her slippers off. Put on the camera. Let the camera see that shit. Let the camera see that sleep. What's wrong? Craig, come back in the house. <laughs> Well, bro, why are you doing it like that? Why don't you just buy a flop thing? <laughs> I don't know. I just start getting lazy. Man, shit, too deep. Ten years ago. Oh, shit. Nigga been sending a DM for like ten minutes. Bro, I've been talking. Already. Oh, damn, bro. This is the most emotional nigga I know. Yeah, I'm the most emotional nigga, you know. Nah. Okay. Never met him. Already, already found my wife, to be real. I'm going to marry me a... Beautiful chocolate woman. Hey, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show y'all. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, my bad, y'all. He. Nah, you can't. You can't. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my dad's no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not yet. <laughs> I got my sister. Look, you gonna come out with that Dr. Umar Johnson fit? <laughs> like, I got black books. Like, <laughs> I don't know, but. But chill. Yeah. Nah, bro, I ain't gonna say shit, man. <laughs> y'all just know I'm gonna come back with a beautiful black wife. I'm gonna show it to y'all. Yeah, show her know. to y'all. In 2018, I'm gonna find a wife. I'm gonna be faithful. I'm gonna settle down. The thing is, I'm already a wholesome, faithful kind of guy, you know? So 2018 is just a year where I'm gonna find me a girl. No, I'm not gonna find a wife in 2018. Well, let me take it back. I'm gonna find my wife in 2018, but we're not gonna get married, you know what I mean? Like... Hell no, you're gonna better get married in a year. No, I'm talking about we're not gonna get married, but oh. I'm gonna know who my wife is. We gonna be friends for like 10 years. We gonna date for like 15. And then I'm gonna make her my fiance for about five more years and then get married. You said date for 15? Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> what? You said date for 15, engaged for five? Yeah. So you're not gonna get married till you. 42? But you always gotta be careful, bro. These girls, you know. Fuck that. No, you You're gonna get bored. 15 year tribulation, that's what I call it. What? Uh, before you get married, they gotta go through 15 years. You can all, you can never be too safe. Nigga, you gotta go through 15 years. You <laughs> thought about that? <laughs> yeah. You better be bored. Nah, I'm gonna be faithful. And you know how marriages get, and then you marry, like 50% of marriages end up in divorce, so then you're gonna be wasting. 20 years to realize she wasn't even the one. No, nah, oh, she will be the one for sure. And I ain't even the type to, you know, get a divorce. I don't believe in divorces, but for real. I'll, I'll sleep in separate bedrooms for about a week before I get a divorce or something. Divor divorce will be the only way I'm getting a divorce is if my wife cheats on me. If, she, if I see her even say hi to another nigga, Trust. she hugged her co worker, it's over. So what if. You cheat by accident, and then forgive she, me. she said she wants a divorce. No, you have to forgive me. You don't, <laughs> you don't understand. Things happen. <laughs> for real, like, mistakes happen, you know? Like, for better or for worse, what happened to that, girl? But if she even <laughs> looks at a nigga the other way, bro, I'm sorry, bro. First of all, I'm already going to get a prenup, so I ain't even tripping about the divorce part. Like, divorce, I'm getting my stuff, and I'm getting out of here. I ain't worried about her getting my money. But <laughs> He yeah. said I'm getting my stuff and get out. But yeah, for sure. It's all supposed to be like that. A guy is supposed to get like, at the least, infinity chances. And then a the girl, <laughs> she has one chance. She, I wish she would, bro. Man. But what's that one coin flip thing? Oh, yeah. To find out if a girl's a hoe? Yeah. Oh, simple. All, hey, I'm going I'm to let y'all in a dope ass. Now, let me introduce it. All right, go ahead. My boy, he has this uh, conspiracy or this theory that there's a, a sure tell way to find out if a girl's a hoe. And I mean, it is pretty simple if you think about it. Listen, all you have to do is grab a coin and then flip it. If it lands, she's a hoe. <laughs> simple, Not, nothing more, everything less. Oh shit. It's simple. So, and then, so it's like heads I win, tails you lose? No, I ain't say that. Just more <laughs> flip it and if the tail, I mean, if the coin lands, she's a hoe. So no, it's heads I win, tails you lose. So you win either way. What you talking heads, about? Look, let's say we flipping a coin. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, heads I win, tails you lose. So basically, I win either way. Heads you win. I o over win. niggas' heads. Yeah, over my head. Look, sure. if it lands on heads, I win. Yeah. And if it lands on tails, you lose. So yeah. that means I win. How you win? 
<laughs> this nigga stupid. How do you win if you're if the thing is if you land your hoe? Bro, I don't know how else to put it. It's so simple. Heads, you win. I think it's just like so simple. You think it's complicated. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way, bro. Okay, I need it. I need you. You get my full yeah, undivided good, good attention. Good luck walking away, nigga. <laughs> you get my full undivided attention now, bro. Okay. It's so no, no. Simple. Okay, okay. Let me let's let's take it back. I said to find out if a girl's a hoe, you flip a coin. If it lands, she's a hoe. And then you said. <laughs> Tails I win, heads you lose. Tails heads I win, tails you lose. So I'm a I was just garland. comparing the 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 sayings, like they kind of go the same. Oh, like, like say we're like making a bet, and I'd be like, yeah. all right, let's make this bet. If it lands on heads, I win. If it lands on tails, you lose. Yeah. So either way you lose, I'm gonna win either way. It's just like a, a play on words, and you say it so quick they don't even understand it. You'd be like, heads I win, tails you lose, and then flip it. Bro, it's not that hard. Bro, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, bro. How do else do I put this? <laughs> are you are you trying to say it's basically just as crazy as that? No, I'm just comparing the two sayings. I'm not like. And then oh okay okay so, and then never mind fuck it bro. <laughs> no, what the fuck? You are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, the most simple thing ever. I'm thinking about rocking off on him, you know, and just cutting this whole YouTube shit off. <laughs> it's just a coin. Never mind, fuck it. But back to the whole thing. It's very simple. I don't know how white people get mad at that. Flip a coin. If it lands, she's a hoe. The most... Wait, wait, wait. All right. I feel you on that, but... Say you got a daughter, right? Yeah. And say somebody said that to you. Yeah. And you got a daughter. Yeah. What happened? I'm going to flip the coin. And then what happens if it lands? You know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> say she's two years old. Then she's a hoe. <laughs> facts are facts. You know, I can't... So you're I can't gonna go let, against facts. You're going to let her bring dudes to the crib every night? No. But the facts are facts. Yeah, but don't mean she got to go by it. What? <laughs> it's like saying we're all sinners. Doesn't mean we got to go out and do some crazy stuff. No. Hell no. Just, you know, the coin been flipped. And she is what she is. You get what you give. You know? Blessed. Bad. Bad. You got to come to my sound to see how we live. Bad. Blessings on blessings on me and my niggas from the six. Look at what we did. There's a boy on the roast's ass. Bad. You know who's the most underrated rapper? Like, not even underrated, just like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe him, but Big Sean. Like, I, but the thing is, I Big heard Sean's about that. Big Sean's fame is so weird. I heard about that shit. They be talking about like every time Big Sean drop an album, it's, <laughs> it's like crazy. Trash no, no, no. The last, the last one is nah, bro, horrid. That should be true. The last one's horrid. But I'm talking about like before that. Not even when he dropped an album, even when he he's featured in somebody's song, Big Sean went off, yada yada. He don't sleep on Big Sean, but I just never give it to him the time of day. He's too small for me to pay attention to, bro. It's cause like. And speaking of no, go ahead. I'll let you breathe. He, he can spit, but like he can't make songs. If that makes sense, he's like a freestyler. You know, you know how you try to listen to freestylers' music and this shit be yeah. trash as fuck. Horrible. That's how he is. Man, but speaking of Big Sean, his girl is probably the most overrated girl. In industry, who Ariana Grande? No, Janae Aiko. Oh, and I'm I, probably gonna get hate from it. I've they never gonna, seen what people see in they, her. They're gonna be like, "You drunk? You crazy?" No, man. Like, just keep it real, bro. Janae Aiko's, you know, beautiful. No, let me take it back. I don't think she's beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't that she's the girl cute. Kyrie used to date? Nah, he used to date this girl that looks like she stinks with hella tattoos. Hey. What's her name? I'm pretty sure it was her. No, it started with a K. Kalani. Kalani, yeah. I, people gonna kill me for this, but Janae Aiko, Beyonce and Rihanna, I never see I've never seen what people say about them. Please forgive me on the Beyonce and Rihanna part. I'm not a part of this jib jab. You are they're drunk. Ju- they're basic women. I mean, no, Rihanna's not basic. She's getting thick and all. And she's a hoe. I'll spend my time on my stomach eating her ass, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> but I mean I told you about the coin flip thing. Of course she's gonna be a hoe. Beyonce's a hoe. I don't want to get to that. I want to disrespect Jay Z. Shout out to my man Jay Z. You know Jay Z got spies watching her her every move. Oh yeah, he can't spend his days walking. See how his knees are? <laughs> you see his legs, nigga. Yeah. Slim gems. But somebody said his legs look like that preacher told him to stand up and walk. <laughs> Hell no. I am dead. You seen Kanye's stomach? Nah, but he I would not be surprised th- if he's fat. Yeah, he got thick. Yeah. They said when he's in the studio, his favorite meal is cheeseburgers and fried chicken. My gosh. I thought he was didn't eat pork or red meat. I wouldn't know. 
Nah, he be eating out uh Cam. I know she a red meat. I thought it was black. Never mind. <laughs> Damn, we've been talking for 25 minutes. It's been 25 already? How long you want to keep this? Just make it 30? Just keep breathing on y'all? What y'all to get breathing? Shit, let's just let's just drop some gems real quick. I ain't gonna make it too long. All right, go ahead. Pause. Shit. Yeah, yeah. What should I say first? I'm gonna give you a word and you rhyme on it. Um, Did you see who messes up first? Yeah. The tree. Free. How you gonna fuck up and you made the word? Bro, I, you said you was about to drop some gems and I gave you a word to rhyme on it. I oh, know we're just going back word to word. If you're doing that, I thought can... you meant just like rhyme it. Oh, we can. Alright. <laughs> what the fuck am I rap, breathe on him about tree for? You talking about weed? No, just the word tree. I'm gonna breathe on him about a tree? No, I'm talking about breathe on him as in rap. You said you're gonna drop some gems. I was talking about like knowledge on something, nigga. All right, let's drop some and then you said rhyme with it, and I did. <laughs> and then you, you said free. <laughs> I'm like, okay, free what, nigga? Fuck all that. Let's do that. See who fucks up first. All right, let me go. Corn, born, porn, torn, scorn, horn. Yep, adorn. <laughs> uh huh. I'm still on it. All right, all right. There you go. Four. First one to five. Oh, you got one. Go. All right. Now I gotta think of a word. Um, pum. Oh, that wasn't it. No. <laughs> Top. Cop. Flop. Shop. Mop. Flop. Bop. Stop. Rap. That nigga, that's not a word. No, I, in in my language. Rap. Nah. No, in my language, rap. No. <laughs> no, in my language, rap. No. <laughs> no, in my language, rap. Shut up, man. <laughs> one one. Uh oh, come back of the year. Rhyme with that. I'm just playing. Wall, hall, stall, ball, fall, mall, call, tall, stall. Yeah, two no, one. No, wait. Two one. Don't play with me, bro. Hold on. What? Is this like a bathroom stall and like stalling? Is that spelled the same? Yeah, it's spelled the same. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, two one. Come back what? Come back these. Pause. Um, let me think of a word. What are we going up to? Five, you said? Back. Hmm. This is tough. Hit the beat to the air conditioner. Floor. Poor. Poor. Shore. Bore. More. Door. Store. Core. That was damn near too long. No, hey, that core is not even That a was word. wild. I was thinking of my word and I forgot how that you were waiting. Damn. That's two two. Shit. All right, we gotta make it difficult. Uh, Bet. Orange. No, I'm playing. Yeah, ain't no word gonna rhyme orange, but we know that. We know that. <laughs> Hurry up, weak ass nigga. Uh, cloud. Loud. Proud. Allowed. Astound. Stop. Bro, what? Fat gonna play. Bro. Cloud, I stound. That rhymes. Bet. All right. I didn't know we on that. All right. Mound. Yeah, you can like transform it a little bit. All right, bet. You talking about like oh, when T painted Wisconsin? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said Wisconsin and really didn't really got, almost got an uh, Oscar for that bullshit. Hello, Wisconsin. But uh, Wisconsin. I, said, I said mound. Bro, I didn't know we saw on that, but I frowned. Bound. Frown. Eli. F R O W N E D. Frowned? Bro, we went from cloud to astound to frown. <laughs> it still rhymes though. What? <laughs> Bro, how do we go from. How do we Nigga, from, fuck that no, word. Listen, then. How, no, I'm, listen, I'm about to. It's, I'm 3 1. How the hell do we go from cloud to frown, Eli? It still rhymes though. Alright. The words is a little different, but it rhymes. Alright, so listen. It's 3 2. It, no, listen. Since you said frown. And what if I said crown? So you tell me crown and cloud rhyme, bro? We're not on cloud anymore. It slowly got to that. You just you just saying cloud and frown. It right. slowly got to that. All right, my bad. I know we do that. You can get another word then. You can do another one. Go ahead. Crowned. Huh? Crowned. Town. Oh wait, are we still on that one? This is a new to. one, nigga. All right, do you get that point or what? No, no, you got the crying. Nigga, what? <laughs> you don't want to keep stopping it? Because <laughs> you got the gas in it. Bro. All right. Shit. Mm. P. 
Pierre. Shit. Pit. Tit. Split. Rip. Thank you.